All right, yes, people, we're back again, Ultimate Learning. This time, we're gonna be seeing what happens when we mix thermite with dry ice. <laughs> After our last thermite video, a few people have messaged me and just says, oh, what will happen if we put thermite um, with dry ice? So I just thought, well, let's do it, see what happens today. Now, just to remember, dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. It gets delivered in this type of polystyrene box. There you go, look, there's some dry ice. And the dry ice comes in these little pellets. This is about minus 78 and I can feel it through my gloves right now. My gloves are getting real chilly at the moment. Um, and just remember that dry ice from our previous videos, um, dry ice doesn't melt, but it sublimates. And that means it turns directly into a gas. So when we add it to warm water, you get this really cool smoky effect. All right then guys, so I've got about two and a half kilograms of dry ice. That's about five pounds if you're from America. So tap a like if you like that. I'm acknowledging my American viewers. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just put some of that dry ice out. And the floor, this flooring is real nice because it's concrete. And what I'm going to do is put some of the dry ice out on the on the ground, and then put some of our thermite mixture on top, light it up, see what happens. Now it's going to be interesting um, whether. You know, the thermite burns for as long as it usually does or whether the dry ice and the carbon dioxide uh, get rid of the oxygen and stop it from burning or will the dry ice sublimate straight away? Let's just see, this is the fun of science. All right then guys, so I've put my magnesium strip in. Remember that we needed a fuse to ignite the thermite. The magnesium ribbon burns at about 700 degrees, which is hot enough to ignite the thermite. So, let's see what happens. Sublimate. I was expecting it to sublimate. Gave a nice burn though, a real nice burn. And you can see here, look, that we've got a piece of iron, pure piece of iron right there. And guys, this would be about 2,500 degrees, burnt really, really hot. Um, obviously, this is an exothermic reaction, gives out lots of heat. But yeah. Well, look, let's see what happens. And there's a bit more, actually. One sec. Look at this. Yeah, so usually when you do the thermite, you get like a iron ingot, like a block of iron. But for some reason, when I've done it on the dry ice, it's made these little cool pellets. Look at that, like these little, almost like these little iron, these little iron ball bearings pretty cool oops just drop one here there you go so it's just made these little cool pellets of iron so we've come back again guys and what i've done i've made like a little dry ice well i've tried to make a little dry ice mountain um, and what i'm going to do is put the thermite in the middle this time so that the dry ice is around the thermite let's just see what happens
morning guys so we've just done our second one um and I'm, I'm just a bit surprised that not more of the dry ice is sublimated but it has produced you know having that kind of like dry ice volcano has produced a nice ingot there you go look a nice little block of iron and we call that block of iron an ingot so we seem to get these pellets wherever the thermite uh, mixture is in contact with the dry ice but in the middle of that little dry ice uh, volcano that's where we got the ingot where it wasn't really touching any dry ice and this is really hot all right then guys so what have we learned today well we've learned that thermite burns at about 2500 degrees but it's still um, not able to sublimate carbon dioxide well it was but not as quickly as I thought um, also we've learned that wherever the thermite mixture was in contact with the dry ice we got these cool little pellets that were forming and wherever the thermite mixture wasn't in contact with the dry ice then we got this ingot this block of iron all right guys peace